I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited uh, to um, begin my service as United States Ambassador to Australia. And um, there's so much excitement in Washington, D.C. about this relationship and this partnership. Not only the bilateral relationship, but um, our regional work together and really our work as global partners. I was in uh, D.C. for the last month or so. And starting uh, at the top, President Biden had a great meeting with Prime Minister Albanese in Tokyo. Everybody is so excited about uh, working together in the Quad and, um, and in the Pacific. Uh, so um, there's a big agenda, and I can't wait to get started. Um, personally, this means a great deal to me. My husband is here with me. Um, we first came to Australia on our honeymoon 36 years ago, almost exactly, because yesterday was, or two days ago, three days ago was our anniversary. And, uh, and then we were fortunate to come back with our children when we were in Japan. So um, we met so many wonderful people and uh, I can't believe that I'm lucky enough uh, to get a chance to serve here and to live here and get to know even more people. So um, I don't know if, um, I just got off the plane, so I, I'm not really all that well informed about what's going on here right now, um, today, so far today. But um, I'm happy to answer any questions uh, more generally, if you want. Ambassador Kennedy, a big focus for Australia and the US over recent years has been the rise of an increasingly assertive China. How big a focus will that be for you in your role here? Well, I think um, the US-Australia partnership is really my focus. Um, and. Uh, the work that we do together in the region, um, security, economic engagement, um, climate change, health security, all of those things. Uh, so I think that China certainly is a big presence here in the region, um, but I think our partnership is what I'll be focused on. It's been, it's been 549 days. Did you just uh, talk over the woman? <laughs> okay, well, she started. Can you please identify yourself by your name and outlet? about Australia's relationship with the Pacific currently? Uh, well, like I said, I haven't even presented my credentials. Um, I know there's a big, a lot of work to do in the Pacific. I'm excited that the Peace Corps is coming back into the Pacific Islands um, after an absence of many years um, in terms of the U.S. engagement. So um, these are all things that I want to talk to the government here about and see what we can do together. <laughs> 549 days since the last time there was an American ambassador to Australia. At that time, some people wondered whether the relationship had been done great. Maybe it didn't matter to the US. What do you say to people who had that? Uh, well, I'd say it's not true. I, I wish you could have been with me in DC. Um, the sense of uh, um, excitement uh, about all the, the possibilities for um, bilateral cooperation um, is really palpable. I, I think everybody feels that it's unfortunate that it's taking so long to confirm ambassadors, but all my predecessors I've consulted with, including Ambassador Calva House, um, who have all given me great advice. And, um, you know, between COVID and all of that, I think that these, you know, there's been a lot of absence, but we've also seen that people can work remotely. And um, I think that there's been a lot of work ongoing, even though there hasn't been an ambassador. So now we'll see if having an ambassador makes a difference. I hope I can show that it does. I think we have time for one or two more yeah, questions. Sure. Why don't we go to Adrian Bearden, ABC? Hi, yes. Um, why do you think the U.S. has focused drifted from the Pacific in recent decades? And what's that mistake? Well, I'm, I'm focused on what's going on now in the future, so um, it's certainly a big focus um, now, and I'm excited to uh, have an opportunity to visit. Certainly, um, for me personally, it has great significance uh, since my father served in the Pacific and uh, was rescued by two Solomon Islanders and an Australian coast watcher, and um, th this is a critical area um, in the region, and I think the U.S. needs to do more. We're putting our embassies back in, and, um, and the Peace Corps is coming, and USAID is coming back, and um, unfortunately, we, we're coming back. We haven't been there for a while, but I think that, um, that that is all tremendously positive, and I think the U.S. and Australia working together will make a big, big impact. Um, and last question goes to Damian Ryan, nine. I think, um, sort of two, really. Um, have you heard that your boss, the, the, the president, Biden, has got COVID? Yes. You've And do you know how he's going? 
Um, well, I haven't spoken to him, so I just was on the plane, but um, I wish him the best. He's very strong and healthy, and um, obviously uh, I hear he has very mild symptoms, so hopefully he'll be uh, feeling better soon. And obviously the fanfare. Normally we have a diplomatic post, and it just happens. No one knows about it. But obviously because of your, your, your name, you accept that that just goes with the territory when, when, when you enter a, a new phase of life here. Um, you mean you didn't all come out here for the last person? Um, no, I, we didn't. <laughs> well, thank you for coming today. I, um, my family legacy is something I'm really proud of and I try to live up to. And, um, and I think the fact that it, that it um, means something to people around the world is, uh, makes me really proud. And, um, and I want to be worthy of it and do what I can to, to continue the values that my father lived by. Good luck with it. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Last question. You, you mentioned on your video about um, sports and snacks. Yeah. And you used those two phrases. You couldn't wait to get to Australia to get sports and snacks. What snacks? What sport? What sport did it? Well, I know there's a lot of sports in that there's a lot of trick questions involving sports. So <laughs> I'm not answering any sports questions. But um, Cricket? yeah, I, again, that's not a US. I got a lot to learn, and that's one of the areas I'll be focusing on. Good. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.